Hi guys! Meow. We are in Czech Republic now and for the first time in forever we've left Prague and this time we've decided to go to Karlovy Vary which is like in the Western Bohemia region it takes like one and a half to two hours by car if you have someone to drive you so Karlovy Vary is a spa city or a spa town and the spa has been here forever there's basically a whole bunch of healthy hot springs that you can drink they're full of iron and whatnot and you know they taste gross so everyone comes here to get healthier and you know taste the horrible water and you know in the summer there's also a huge film festival and honestly my friends are kind of 50 50 on whether they love or hate this place but i think that you should give it a go and just you know make your own opinion uh, as you can see this is the area around the water very pretty uh, a couple of movies have been shot here actually i can think of casino royale and last holiday you know where queen latifa thinks she's dying and then she goes here and spends all the money in Karlovy Vary and then she finds out she's not dying and then money well spent a super hot guy comes here in a helicopter jesus christ yeah. but anyway come with us <laughs> let's follow in steps of queen latifa Okay, so one of the little number of things you can do for free in Karlovy Vary is you can, well, okay, so it's not completely free, but um, if you've been here before, it's gonna be free. You have to buy one of these little ceramic or like China um, cups. <laughs> they're, they're weird, we're gonna show you. You buy one of these and then you basically follow all the health infused, iron rich, how do you call them? Springs? So, yeah, hot springs and they come in different temperatures, but none of them are cool So if you're here in summer, you're probably gonna hate them all But like it's a part of the experience hating all the irony water that all tastes like you just bit the inside of your mouth So yeah, we're gonna do that They seem to have a huge selection there. So that's where we're going to buy one for ourselves Oh my god, I think I instantly found the one Is this Five Nights at Freddy's? Okay, so I bought this kitty cat one, but then Simon didn't want to spend any money on one for himself, so I had to buy him the dragon. Yes! Oh my god, you're gonna feel so majestic drinking all that gross water from your dragon. That's the hope. Yes, we found one of the springs, so we're gonna test our first sip of gross water. It's 60 degrees. <laughs> is it super hot? Oh my god! Is it super hot? It's really hot, yeah. <laughs> that tastes exactly like when you bite the inside of your mouth. <laughs> so this is called the 13th spring here in Karlovy Vary and it's Pekarovka and you might have heard about it because it's one of the national spirits of Czech Republic it's and disgusting, it tastes like aniseed no it's not, it tastes like many things and it's good for you yeah okay so if you like aniseed flavours then it's fine I don't, so there's, there's that okay so the way this worked in the past like two centuries is that people would come here and be all stylish and wear little parasols and walk around like this area and eat wafers and just drink these all day i mean not the cats but you know the blood water the blood water and it would make them full of health sure So you know how basically every country has that one king that like made everything better and built a lot of stuff and you know now half of everything in that country is named after him 
that's Charles IV for us. He built basically most of Prague and I'm pretty sure he was at the start of this city too because he was staying at a castle that's not so far away from here and we hope we're gonna be there. Uh, it's called Locket and he was staying there and he just like, he had this people questing around for him to find out what's around the castle and they found a bunch of warm springs salty and bloody and I guess he loved it so he had to build a whole town around it Climbed, no, we didn't climb, we took the elevator onto this wonderful little lookout tower and you can see the mountainous area behind me, very pretty. Uh, we are now gonna get a cold beverage because we're dying. Ooh, people. What you're drinking? I'm drinking Coca Cola, which is a very Czech specific sort of Coke. It tastes a lot like uh, cherry Coke with a slightly slight sort of carby aftertaste to it. Place I'm completely unfamiliar with, and Kat wants me to do some sort of dramatic monologue about. What's its name? You remember its no, name? I don't. Well, what does its name mean? I don't know. I just told you in the car. Uh, elbow. Yes. I think. Indeed, we are at a place called The Elbow, or in Czech, Loket, which is a little castle really close to Karlovy Vary. It took us about 10 to 15 minutes to drive here. It's, you have this like little historical center, in the center of which is an old castle. We're gonna show you. Okay guys, we're just gonna chill for the rest of the evening now, it's like 7, so this whole trip took us about 8 to 9 hours, uh, having a car, getting you know to Karlovy Vary, then you know between the two and then back home. The traffic wasn't too bad, so like if you are traveling during the high, high traffic moment, then do we have like a bit of sunburn? No, it's just, there's a shit light here. Anyway. My sister's gonna come over, we're gonna chill with little Morty. Hey Morty! Then we're gonna get some sushi. And tomorrow is a wedding, which is gonna be a big day full of booze and friends and love and all that jazz. And we're pretty excited about that. Okay, so thanks for watching. Hopefully we showed you a new side of Czech Republic that you didn't know existed. Bye guys!